Today we'll be reviewing Budgie Desktop LDE, the beautiful desktop that looks like GNOME. Hey guys, it's Joel here with Make Tech Easier. The next in our series of Linux desktop environment reviews is one that's often overlooked, except by those who are most passionate about it. Budgie, a product of the Solace project, Budgie is a beautiful desktop that aims to provide sane defaults to a beautiful interface. This review is going to discuss the Budgie desktop user experience, notable features, user experiences, and we're going to make some recommendations of where to experience Budgie and who should use it. When I first look at Budgie, the first thing I think is, wow, this is nothing quite like I've ever seen before. I look around at the desktop and I think it looks a little like GNOME, a little like KDE, and a little like Cinnamon. And in a special little way that I can't quite describe, it's the same but a little different. It looks great and I find myself eyeballing my designated USB stick to reinstall my system. It's that engaging right away. The experience of Solace is quite a bit like using KDE Plasma or GNOME with the dash to panel extension, much like a very traditional desktop paradigm that you'd be used to using with Windows. All the components of the desktop are also contained in the bottom panel. From the left, you have a searchable menu, some panel icons for pinned applications, and then you have a system tray on the right with networking, notifications, sound, and time settings. It's a simple and friendly interface but even more than that, it's intuitive. Having everything pinned at the bottom gives you a little more space at the top of the screen for applications. It's small, but it can make a big difference. One of the things you don't always see in DEs is an intuitive place for all your customization. The Budgie Desktop Settings app is a major exception to this, giving you access to a huge volume of customization settings without having to go elsewhere to install any special programs. Under style, you can set things like window and icon themes, whether you want a global dark theme, and whether you want windows to use animations or not. Under windows, you can set many different options related to windows rendering on the screen. You can choose whether context menus are attached to the window, set button layout sides, choose to center new windows on the screen, and focus on hover rather than focus on click. These are all small changes, but users who feel comfortable in a particular workflow will find it pretty easy to settle into Budgie. I especially like the ability to switch the button layout to the left because I used Mac OS for years, and that's what I'm accustomed to. Another great feature is that under the bottom panel are options to set which applets you want to use in the panel. It's easy to add, move, and remove applets to customize what's in the panel. I especially like this because when you click over to settings and enable dock mode, it looks best to remove some of the extra stuff from the bottom dock and put it in a panel on the top. Budgie makes it really easy to tweak little things about the DE, and I think that's great. As a GNOME user, many of these particular settings are hidden behind tweaks and extensions, which is generally fine, but it can be tedious. Budgie is great, and it looks and works like a GNOME, but it has a lot of these friendly features for customization and preference built right in. GNOME Plus. As I said before, Budgie is a lot like GNOME, Appearance, function, and applications are all essentially GNOME, but a better or GNOME Plus. There are many desktop environments that are based on GNOME, but they all try to take it in a completely different direction. Mate, Cinnamon, and Pantheon are all specifically meant to do something different than GNOME 3, but Budgie is a little different. Budgie feels like someone took the great things out of GNOME, took out all the not so great things, set some great default options, and sent that out into the world. As a GNOME user, I really like how they've modified things, and I feel like it's really GNOME, but better in many ways. Another area where Budgie is better than GNOME is in performance and system resource usage. A fresh boot of fully upgraded Solus Virtual Machine uses just over 620 megabytes of RAM, and CPU usage hovers around the 1% mark. This is on par with desktop environments like KDE Plasma and Cinnamon. It's great that there's something so tightly integrated with GNOME that runs so light on the system. Those who don't like the weight of a GNOME desktop but want the look and feel would like Budgie. On top of system resource usage, Budgie also performs better in general tasks. 
This virtual machine has no GPU pass through and no 3D acceleration. So the fact that the animations for opening windows and switching virtual desktops are so smooth is a credit to the software magic going on behind the scenes. I could put this on a system with very little graphics horsepower and still have a good time using a very modern feeling desktop. While Budgie is excellent, there are some things that are limiting its potential. For me, the primary one is availability. While I understand that there are ways to get Budgie running on any Linux distribution, it's hard for me to recommend it to anybody outside of a select few users. It's not widely available, so users of Fedora and Ubuntu won't just be able to run a simple command and install the desktop on top of what they're already currently running. There's much great work going on behind the scenes to make that happen, but in the meantime, you're limited with your options. While you are limited, there's one wholehearted recommendation I can make on where to experience Budgie. Solus is an independently developed Linux distribution for which the developers created Budgie and the tight integration and overall experience shine together. It's a great distro all around, given that it comes stocked with a great desktop environment and has access to flat packs. But if you're looking for Budgie as it was intended, look no further than Solace. Any GNOME user looking for something lighter would enjoy Budgie. They're incredibly similar, right down to many of the same applications. But Budgie massages GNOME into a form that works better on older hardware and for users who just don't want all that extra stuff. Make sure to check out a more in-depth review of Solus, learn about other great distros for Mac users and check out some of our other desktop environment reviews. Well, that's it from me. As always, if you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech savvy videos. See you next time.